welcome to Dubai. We looked all over the internet to try to find a blog or a YouTube video or anything to see how we can celebrate New Year's here in Dubai. So we thought we'd create a budget guide on how to see Dubai for New Year's. We booked an Airbnb. I kept digging and digging and all the ones that I found with good reviews tend to be a little further away, which probably is not the worst thing. And the only one that we could actually afford was a private room in someone's apartment, and I believe it was $90 a night. But make sure to book at least six or seven months in advance. Moving along to how long? So as much as I wanted to be here for a week and to do it all wasn't feasible financially, recommend at least three nights just to skim Dubai because there's so much to do. ways that you can do New Year's Eve in Dubai. The first way is you can pay for a ticket. The fountain costs at least 2,000 dirham to go into the fountain area with the ticket. And you really do need a ticket to be able to go in. The other way you can do it is if you get a reservation at one of the restaurants inside or in the surrounding areas, which is a very popular thing to do here in Dubai for New Year's. But I will say those book up a year and sometimes a year and a half in advance so if you know you want to come to Dubai some year for New Year's and you would like to get a reservation at a restaurant just give yourself a year a year plus in advance to make a reservation that's one way you could see Dubai for New Year's but the way that we're doing it is through the budget way so let's tell you how we did it on a budget so you want to get to the Dubai mall by 2 p.m. and make sure by 5 p.m. ish you start making your way following the signs that say New Year's Eve celebrations. Follow the signs and you'll make it out to this main boulevard, which is right in front of the Burj Khalifa. You can bring food, you can bring water, they will check, but you're allowed to bring them all in and I highly recommend doing it before because it does get really expensive once you get onto the main boulevard. Go toward gate six, which is where the fountain is, but don't be fooled. There's a massive line by gate six and everyone says that you can go in they'll fill up the rest of the fountain area just don't waste your time you will get just as good of a view maybe better of a view on this side of the Burj Khalifa because you get the whole building that was a lot of information so let's go enjoy some epic New Year's Eve fireworks 